You'll never guess what happened to me recently. I learned how to talk to myself. Yay! Yeah! Toddly00, zero zero, I have done your bidding and I have made you a Pokemon reenactment. It's quite short, um, but I believe it fills your criteria. I decided to dress up as Oddish, uh, not because it's my favourite Pokemon or anything, um, just literally because I was wearing a green hoodie and it was the easiest costume I could make. But yeah, as, as short as it is, I'm very pleased with it. It's quite funny. Here it is. <laughs> Ta-da! I, I absolutely love doing effects like that now. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm kind of addicted to it, and I've wanted to be able to do them for ages, so I don't know why I didn't download some new software sooner, but, you know, whatever. I do actually have some uh, interesting news regarding my Pokemon situation. Uh, I don't really know how to say this, but I, I kind of started again. Um, yeah. It's something that I decide to do, like, all the time whenever I get a new Pokemon game. I mean, I got to the Elite Four, like, just before the bit where you fight the Elite Four, but then I just decided, you know what, I don't like the Pokemon I've got. I'm just going to start again. So now all my Pokemon are like level 25, um, and I'm on like badge 4. Kind of defeats the object of trying to complete Pokemon as quickly as possible, um, but you know, we never really cared for rules, did we? I told you this before, Alan, but I'm just going to tell you it again. I absolutely love the video that you um, made yesterday, it was so, um, so spot on, and um, I particularly love the impression that you did of my brother. I like Ugly Betty. Because I was kind of disappointed when you said at the beginning, I'm not going to try and do a British accent, uh, but then you did one, and it was just so perfect. I just generally love it whenever Americans try and do a British accent, because we always sound like cockneyed Londoners from like the 40s or something. I'm kind of hoping that um, you other guys might want to do impressions of me as well, I think it might be quite funny. Um, but then again, I don't know if anybody watching would want to put up with yet another week of Charlie. I couldn't even put up with doing one. I absolutely hated it. Even though I didn't do the full five days, I still couldn't stand it. And I ended up with a really bad headache after I'd finished. That seriously was the worst punishment ever. And I hate you, Doug. I hate you so much. It completely drained me creatively. I mean, that week I wanted to make some videos for the Charlie is So Cool Like channel, but I couldn't. Um, but yeah, whatever. I, th I think I've learnt my lesson lot not to lose cards in the future. Alex, right, I read in your diary quite a while ago that you didn't watch the episode, the Unicorn and the Bee, I think it was called, of Doctor Who, because the intro was t absolutely terrible, obviously. But as a challenge for you, because I was going to talk to you and like ask you a few questions about Doctor Who so I could get a conversation going, uh, but I have decided to do this and said, I'm going to challenge you to watch it and give me a review. Uh, tomorrow, if you can do it, or next week, whatever. But yeah, I think you should at, at least try and watch more than just the intro for me. That would be great, thank you. Uh, yeah, I haven't talked about you, Johnny, because I didn't have anything to say to you, uh, apart from you're awesome, and I can't wait to see you on Friday. You're always awesome, Johnny. I just don't have anything to say. Goodbye. I am an oddish, uh, as you can clearly see, and here is the battle. Ah!